Okay, it's Friday, January the 24th of 2024. I want to show you a very quick video here of uh, how I determine how to orient the uh, output transformer next to a power transformer. Okay, this is the power transformer I'm using. A beautiful military surplus, tough as nails, potted transformer. I've wired a, uh, you know, a little pigtail up here so I can plug it into 120 volts. I got it uh, strapped to the 115 volt winding. I've got a heavy load on it. Well, it just came off. Uh, I'm drawing about 100 milliamps of current. Uh, you want to load the transformer so that it's putting out a, you know, it's, its biggest magnetic field. Okay, see, here's the resistor back here. Now the resistor is not big enough to dissipate that power for a long time, but it's only going to be happening for seconds so we're going to plug this thing in in just a second but not yet and then what I've done here this is a transformer these are output transformers so it's going to be on the uh, the stereo SET and I'm taking the primary winding right here which is uh, you know the, the one with the most amount of turns because I want to get the most amount of coupling between the two that I can to make this measurement and uh, it's uh, just simply going into uh, the oscilloscope right here. So I gotta move around so much, but that's what I gotta do. And what we're gonna do is watch it right there. Uh, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, well, let's see. Well, she didn't take so darn much moving around, but it, but it is gonna take some moving. Okay, well, let's go back, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'll show you. I can't leave it plugged in for very long at a time, because that resistor's small. There's, there's nothing on the secondary, it's open. Like I say, this is just going right straight into the oscilloscope from the primary. I'm gonna, see I don't know the orientation. I don't know if this transformer is wound like this or wound like that, I just don't know. So I'm gonna put this transformer right up there next to it. Just like that. And I'm gonna plug it in. And, and look at the oscilloscope. Let's see, let's turn around here and look at the oscilloscope and see what we get. I think you should be able to see this okay. Okay, I'm just going to plug the transformer in, the power transformer, and what I get is is that. That doesn't look too good, does it? You can see that, I believe, pretty well. It'd be a lot better if the lights weren't so darn bad. Let me, uh, let me put some light in here so I can see what I'm doing and turn that glare off. My goodness, I got a lot of glare in my shop here. Okay, I'll do it once more. I want you to see this very carefully. That's, see, that's what I'm picking up sideways. Now I'm going to turn it the opposite. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. And there it is. Nothing. I gotta unplug it because I can't uh, I can't leave that on that load resistor for very long. So see what I've done here is uh, now now you see how the transformer is oriented. Let me plug the light back in. Okay, so that's the way I've got to orient the transformers. They're not going to be up against it, obviously. They're going to be sitting at a distance from it. But um, with, with the, the cores, I would assume the core in this one is wound this way. And then this one being wound 90 degrees to it, I get no pickup. But when I put the, but when I put the cores together like this, I assume they're, they're both in the same plane. And this right here would, you, you, if it were right up against it, certainly, I would think you would end up with some hum in here that, that would have no solution. No amount of capacitors or anything else would change it but uh, keeping the transformer like that works you see that again okay okay I'll leave it like that I mean I, I think this is I think this is uh, a really important thing to do one more time here let's get zoom right in there but as close as we can get gotta gotta push the button here to get the thing back on. 
Okay, I've got it oriented the way it should be now. And I plug it in, and nothing. And I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, and I get that. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that's worth something to you. That's where it'll be oriented. Or not oriented, no, not oriented. It'll be oriented uh, this way. The bells toward it. They're going to be out here a distance in another one, but that's... Uh, that's the way I've determined this before, and it seems to have some value to it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.